Hello guys and welcome to this short quick tutorial inside of ZBrush. I'm Vahid Ahmadi and in this short tutorial inside of ZBrush I'm going to teach you how to use panel loops to add thickness and remake your subdivision and that's it guys. So let's see how we can do that. It is pretty easy and let me show you how. As you can see, we have two models, which are duplications of each other. One of them has five, and one of them has four. If you have five subdivision levels, let me show you. I have this image ready for you, so please save it and use it. And let me minimize that a little. And I use free software, free plugin in Windows called Desk Pins. And you can download it. It is free and it is very good. You can pin all of your windows and use it. So if you have five subdivision levels, uh, we need to add 16. If you have five or higher, six, seven, or so you need to add 60 4 is 8 3 is 4 and etc so i go down to the geometry and before that i delete lower because it gives error as you know so i did it lower and i give some thickness to it i zero down to polish because i don't need it and not necessary i zero down the bevel and elevation to 100 minus uh, which i think it works a little better and i want to make some profile like this it is better and it flattens your extrude and i know i come in here and i type in 16 so we have five so we need to type 16 and I press panel loops and as you can see we got polygroups so let's do that again and do something like that so let's decrease and again oh, it is good now I press my crease PG to crease my polygroups to do more you know deformation polish in here so I grab this uh, inner part i grab the other one i mask it i inverse my mask and now i can use my geometry reconstruct and as you can see voila and we got these subdivisions uh, and i now go to the formation and i use my polish by features and i smooth that area a little more if you want to smooth it, just reconstruct your subdivisions and go to the lower numbers and use polish by groups or polish by features or even using a smooth groups, which is located in your light box in your smooth library, which is very handy. Sometimes you have something from Marvelous or other software. If, if you have some polygroups, you can smooth between them, those intersections. And you can find it in here in your smooth brushes in here. We got very handy smooth brushes in here as well. So use them and try them. So that's it. And if you accidentally got some, you know, intersections, it is very easy to manage. You need to mask it and mask those areas, inverse your mask and just move it. And even you can use back face to your benefit and add thickness more, which is very good. And you can control your thickness, you know, using masking and selecting, inversing your mask and using this guy in here and add more thickness or using size. And of course there are some ways some another ways too which is 
located all inside of ZBrush. And let's try the other one. I delete this guy and use this. And as you can see, we have four subdivisions level in here. So for using four, we need to delete lower before doing anything. So I delete lower, I go down to the geometry and add some thickness. So we have four and graph and image says we have to use eight. So I give it eight and I add some thickness to it and zero down the bevel and elevation to 100 minus. Uh, yeah, this is good. And I just press panel loops and that's it. Oh, it is very thick now. I don't like Okay, this one is good. And I now I use Chris PG. I Chris PG and uh, I reconstruct, and all the subdivisions are returned now. So let's see. Yes. Uh, let me grab the inner part and mask it, inverse my mask, and I want to use my polish by features. And you have got some accidental, you know, intersection. It is very easy to handle. All you need to do is grab in your move tool and just move it, guys. And turning off the back face. And we got something in here. It is always happens because we gave that thickness and of course it intrudes to the other parts. So you can manage it very easily and quickly. So there's no worries about that. And that's it, it is very easy. And thanks again guys for watching and see you later.